All right, guys, Lake of the Ozarks update. It has been not the best practice. Uh, can get tons of bites. Uh, still getting tons of bites. The problem is, is, is big ones. And normally, normally I fish for big ones. Like normally what I do, um, I, I'm not going around throwing little stuff or doing things like the way I fish here is I usually, if I can catch them, they're usually fairly big. I don't really get too wrapped up in what I what I catch and practice in the sense of, or like come tournament time. This happens a lot. Eventually when I get to a place like this that I've been to a bunch, I tend to stop fishing certain places, like certain stretches, certain places where I catch them. So I have left basically almost every single spot where I caught them in last year, I really haven't been. I've been close. I've, I've been to like maybe kind of like maybe one or two that aren't really that great and I get bit there. The problem is, is even when I do this, if I just went pre-fishing on this lake and messed around, I usually get a big bite or two. I mean, at least just a bite. Um, even if it's on a top water, a jig, something, I kind of randomly luck into one that kind of lets me know. I'm getting so many bites is what bothers me, is that I've had that many bites and and not really, I haven't had a big bite on a top water yet. Here's my dilemma. I told y'all the other day in that last video that I did something and I did catch a five pounder. I've done that a bunch since. I caught a three something the next day and then yesterday I didn't catch anything big on it. Yesterday I had tons of bites. I didn't, I might've had a three pounder. I, I don't know, maybe one. I don't even know if I, I oh, I did have some bites. I, I, I forget, I did have at least one, maybe my biggest bite on the top water. That's not saying much. Today, I really didn't know what to do today. Um, I, I thought about it for like an hour or so, like what do I wanna go try and see if I can put it in the rotation of what I'm doing. I, I did a little something this morning, didn't like it. Um, what did I do? I, oh, I caught a fish on a glide bait on like second cast. But I, that was, I promise you, that's, that was a fluke fish. Uh, then I, then another one, like I kind of looked down out deep. I wasn't deep, I was fishing shallow and I looked out there and I, I saw something, I threw my jig out there. Didn't see anything, started reeling it up in like 25 foot of water. I catch one, like a two and a half pounder. I was like, great, look, real healthy fish. But I was like, great, that doesn't help. I finally went and started flipping boat dice. Uh, had one bite, it was a keeper. That's all I had, one bite.
and then just now there is I found a school of spotted bass there at Kentucky's they are there's probably like 30 of them I threw in their first cast caught one 13 14 incher uh, they only got to be 12 might have been 15 I don't know it was a big one and it looked like there was a ton with it so I'm not too worried about catching spotted bass like I said I'm out, a lot of guys I bring up the spotted bass reason for this is on this lake and I didn't know this that it was that easy to catch some of these Kentuckys on certain like offshore not even offshore stuff but like off boat docks off really main lake style big boat docks the first time I was here I caught three or four big ones and I only had four in day one and I was like man if I had just caught me a another you know fish and Casey Scanlon was like why didn't you just go do this I'm like I didn't know about it so I learned that the last time I was here like it was probably the second or third time I was here second time I went and did it figured out how to do it it's never I've never had an issue since I've always waited in a limit but um, I bring that up because last year the guy who won it he smoked on him. he had like 20 the first day and 18 the second he had one fish the final day one four pounder is a good one but man that's risky right and I've, heard, I've talked to some guys about that that are from here and they're like man I don't want to waste time going and doing that and I'm like well if you know the right ones it's kind of a first cast deal and, and man you catch four one threes one fours you know maybe they're just ones it's still four extra pounds that would have been four extra pounds. That would have been a lot more of a cushion, bringing in eight pounds and four pounds. It's still risky. But, I mean, say you go catch four big ones that weigh 12 or 13, and and one more one pounder gets you to 14 or 15. So stuff like that matters in the long run, uh, in my opinion, like learning those little things of how to catch those fish and, and maximize what you're doing. Plus, if you're not worried about tournament fishing, it's absolutely fun and you can kind of mess around with some baits learn some things and and I mean you can catch a good one doing it it's just something to go try if you're out here in like the Ozarks and you're and you're having trouble now what are some other issues we're having they dropped the lake a bunch I don't really know how that affects it because I'm usually never here when they drop it or it's dropped before I get here or after I, I don't really pay attention I didn't think it mattered that much, but apparently it does. Because, like I said, I'm staying with my buddy Corey, and then there's like two or three other guys that are here, and um, I usually don't, you know, me and Corey, me and Corey will talk a little bit about stuff, just about our bites, but I've never really asked Corey about anything on this lake. Uh, he's a phenomenal fisherman here, him and Casey Scanlon fish team stuff together and stuff, but I try not to ask those guys too many questions. but. Overhearing those guys, I, I realized that dropping the lake matters. It It's nice today, right? It's dead sunny and dead calm. I don't think it's supposed to be like this in the tournament. Uh, it was, it's been pretty nasty every day we've been here. Not not so much wind, but, but weather-wise. It's supposed to be Friday. It was like 80% chance of rain and wind and cloudy. Tomorrow can go either way right now the, the weather's changing I don't really know what I want so I, I don't really know how it affects them that much the, the problem is they'll bite your bait better when it's cloudy but it doesn't position them as well so that's kind of the stuff that I don't know and I'll have to figure out during the tournament right now I'm gonna go check one or two other places and call it a day because I don't know if anything I'm doing is really helping me to do what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'll be honest, these tournaments scare me like crazy because I started driving around this place. Like I said, I've been here now, this is my fifth or sixth time. And I every time I come, I fish new stuff. Like I always fish new stuff. And I've fished new stuff since, since I've been here and found some new stuff. But I'm still going to probably hit some of the stuff either from last year or years past. Even in that open where I didn't do very good, I left one stretch alone. I went to it right off the bat and uh, caught like a three and a four pounder. So 
not saying that's what's going to happen, I, I don't really know. It, it scares me that I don't think those big ones are up. In talking to those, those guys, here's the thing, and this is probably the biggest thing, is like I said, normally I don't care too much about, about getting the big bites in practice at times. But man, I have talked to those guys and they're all talking about getting bit and not getting big ones. Like going all day long and not catching a four pounder or getting a three or four. It's a problem. It's a problem and it's an issue and I don't know if, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. It, I'm, I'm kind of nervous that that's how it's gonna be in the tournament. And uh, if so, I'm not gonna do very good. Because I'm not going to change. I'm not going to do something. I've, I've gone. Oh, a guy asked me the other day. He's like, hey, how are you on Lake of the Ozarks and didn't talk about fall fishing and fishing boat docks? I'm not going to fish boat docks here. And here's why. Just in my eyesight right now, I can see about, about 800 of them. Okay? And every creek has about 200 of them. And this thing's like 60-something miles long. And... It's got more shoreline. I don't know what it is. There was something that it's like there's more shoreline in Lake of the Ozarks than there is. I don't know. It's some crazy number. So, and the whole lake's filled with boat docks. Like, you don't see hardly any bank that doesn't have boat docks on it. I know I could go find them. And I used to do that when I first got here. I did that. Like, the first time I ever came, that's what I went and did. Problem was is I did okay, but not really great. I never really did phenomenal doing it. Every year I come back, I get worse doing it. Um, and the thing is, is I haven't really seen a boat since I've been here. I mean, I've seen a boat drive by, but I haven't seen a boat fishing. Like I never run into anyone fishing, doing my style. Well, I went and fished some boat docks, three boats back there, just some random pocket. And that's the deal is that it gets tough. It gets pressure. And is my pattern better? I don't know. Probably at times I think it is. But either way, I'm not going to sit there and go back there and, and deal with the pressure of people being there when I can go do my own thing and have zero pressure. And if I, if I bomb, I bomb doing it. But... Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with these tournaments aren't. I've already made a championship. This is just a fun deal. When I come up here to, when I say a fun deal, it's a, it's a, I love fishing this lake because it's really fun and I enjoy it. I don't get to do stuff. I don't get to fish lakes like this. So I enjoy it. I'm going to go do what I like to do. Go throw a top water, go throw a, a jig, maybe a glide bait. I still probably gonna drop shot a little. I got I got some stuff. Maybe my morning spots are really good. I will say this. I did go check where I started last year and, and caught them pretty good. And uh, I went there in the middle of the day. I think they're harder to catch in the middle of the day. I didn't fish for very many of them, but I saw them. I saw them swimming around on, on my live scope and I saw quite a few of them. Kind of scattered around, but they were like that last year. And so between the another spot where I cranked up some and they're freaking everywhere there, don't know how big they are, in that spot, I've got a starting spot. I've got a, I've got a backup little point that I caught a couple on two or three days ago. I don't think there's a lot there, but you know, the morning time, shoot, if I catch two in the morning time, I'll be happy. Uh, that allows me basically six to seven hours to go catch three decent ones on a top one. Or something like that. I don't know. But we got a little bit of time left. We'll go check out some more stuff real quick. Call it a day, rig up. And uh, yeah, wish me luck, guys. See y'all. All right, I'm going in for the day. I'm done. I'm going in. I'm, I've done everything I need today. Today was a very productive day. I don't know if this will work out. Doesn't matter to me in the sense of, I, I, I don't worry about stuff like this. I either, I'm just glad I figured them out in practice, right? Or I figured out something, a way to catch a big one. I did catch a five pounder. Um, it was on a 
new spot, a deep spot, and I had to fish really, really hard and really, really slow. And then I hit like six more spots. And I had one other bite. I don't think I could have caught it. So maybe it was a small one. And then the last spot of the day, I, I pulled up to a spot and a new spot. Fished for a, a lot, a lot of cast. And, uh, but I don't know if I made the right one until the very end. And I had another one. Um, it hit, it felt like a big one. It stayed on there for a long time. I finally shook it off. So, um, it's one of those things I wouldn't, I would not, like, I would not be thrilled to have to go do that to catch five. Um, but maybe you can catch one, maybe two. Two, that size, it doesn't really matter what you have as long as you got three more to go with it. Um, I did, it was interesting. I did go up shallow down one stretch. I was probably gonna hit in the tournament, but I went down it anyways. I saw three up shallow. They, usually the ones up shallow come and eat. These did not want to eat. So I kind of wonder how much of that is going on throughout the day that they are up there, but they're just not hitting. So uh, you can definitely tell that there's windows of them eating good. Definitely tell in the evening time it's horrible. But I just don't know if they're not up there or they're just not eating. You know, that's kind of the one deal with, I'll bring up live scope. You know, in the past, we would look at it and go, hey, they're not there, right? That's why they're not eating. When they're up shallow like that, and there's really no way to tell, right? They're either up there or they're not, and they either bite or they don't. Unless it's clear, you have no idea. So uh, it's one of those things you have to figure out, right? You have to figure out without electronics. You just gotta figure it out. Over the 20 years of fishing, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe at this time, I'll be doing nothing but deep fishing. So, uh, yep, that's it. That's a wrap for practice for Lake of the Ozarks. Terminus starts tomorrow. See you guys.